The new Freelander is aimed very much at the compact 4x4 leisure sector of the market. It's a new area of the market for us and what it will do is bring accessibility for people wanting land, the Land Rover mark and the pedigree that comes with that. What this vehicle is doing is giving accessibility to a lot more people that aspire to Land Rover, to the mark that up until now haven't necessarily been able to afford a Land Rover. We haven't set the pricing yet for Freelander but it will um, range from um, £15,000 approximately up to £20,000. Freelander is very much a lifestyle product but it's, it's just as comfortable off-road as it is on-road. Um, it doesn't have some of the same characteristics, for example, as, as a Discovery, but then it's not specifically aimed at that area of the market. There are two models. One is the, uh, the three-door, um, which has a hardback option or a softback. Um, one of the interesting things about the three-door is the reconfigurability of, uh, of the vehicle. The softback, for example, can be stowed forward onto the header and that combined with the removable um, roof panels gives you a very open, sporty type vehicle. The five-door, on the other hand, is very much a family-orientated vehicle with optimization of interior stowage. When you look at the vehicle, you'll find all sorts of stowage areas at the front of the uh, vehicle in terms of, of stowage bins on the doors, glove boxes, um, stowage areas in the rear quarter panels and at the rear and even up on the on, on the the headlining with things like the net pockets which are traditional Land Rover cues but sunglass holders all types of very carefully thought out um, detailing dynamically it, it's a great car to drive and of course you have this sort of added value of, of sitting relatively high which is very much a Land Rover cue with this authoritative um, command driving position and you see this very nice bonnet in front of you which again is is one of the Land Rover cues and as you walk round the vehicle although it's very contemporary in its design execution you will see there are lots of touches which confirm its 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 pedigree as a as a Land Rover the interesting thing about Freelander is this unique combination of on-road refinement and on-road dynamics combined with its, its very capable ability off-road. That's a, a unique proposition um, and it, it was de designed very much from the outset as a, a Land Rover product and if you were to compare it with the competition you'll find that most of, the, of that actually is car derived so you don't have the same capabilities. It's very much a car that can be used every day um, on the road and as an everyday vehicle and it's super and I love it and I want to buy one. <laughs>